A very good morning. Uh, myself, uh, Dr. Ramesh Bitti, Assistant Professor, uh, Mechanical Engineering Department, and Jain Institute of Technology, Daungere. And I'm going to handle a subject uh, called Engineering Graphics. So for your first year, I'm going to handle the subject. It is called Engineering Graphics uh, with a code of 18 EGDL. 15 for your first semester okay uh, and we already uh, in our induction program we have some brief introduction about this drawing engineering drawing and solid edge uh, with the continue the same uh, first uh, let me discuss uh, what is uh, meant by a drawing engineering graph so what is meant by drawing? Hello? 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 Yes, sir. Is it audible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. OK. Ah. So before going to the actual subject, first we have all the knowledge about a basic knowledge about drawing, engineering drawing, projection, views, XP, VP, orthogonal projection, top view, front view, and etc. So first we have to know what is all those things. Then we have to know about the projection of points, a projection of solids, projection of and isometry. So this subject a purely uh, it is an a pictorial subject means you have to draw the uh, drawing but not a simple drawing you have to draw the engineering drawing okay the subject is called as a the subject is engineering graphic so engineering graphic you have to draw the uh, engineering components in an technical manner with the help of a software or with the help of a manual method. And in this subject, uh, of course, it consists of a uh, theory part as well as the lab. So in the theory part, again, uh, uh, in the theory part, it consists of a nearly three important modules. That is what the questions. And the first question is of option. And the first question, it is of option either a projection of points and lines, but but in your syllabus only projection of lines is there, or projection of planes. So you have the options, anyone. It is of 25 marks. Next, projection of and it is for nearly 45 marks and the last bit isometric projection it is of 30 marks so in each module in, class, in each module we are going to discuss nearly 50 questions engineering graphics we are going drawing to, model we are going to discuss 50 questions in every module Hello. Please mute your audio. Okay. So here uh, in each module, uh, we are going to cover 50 questions. And for the examination, you will get the questions from that 50 questions only. Okay. And uh, here there are a theory part as well as the uh, practical session. And in the laboratory, you are going to practice the same thing, whatever I did in the class, same thing with the help of a software called Solid Edge. And with that Solid Edge, you are going to draw whatever the problems we solved in the class. First, we solved all the problems in the manual method. That is by using an your uh, drawing book. 
and pencil scale compass and protector and the same thing same drawing you are going to draw it in the uh, solid edge and for the examination also same thing a same pattern first the question paper will be provided and first uh, as well as answer sheet in the answer sheet you have to draw a first manually then take the signature from the examiner then you have to draw it in the software this is what the uh, laboratory or examination pattern and combinedly it is for 100 marks okay and for this subject uh, if you want you can refer some of the books called uh, engineering graphics by k r gopal krishna is there it's a, a beautiful book as well as nd but is there and along with that there is an vtu provided a one book a engineering graphics solution book okay if you want you can take xerox of those things or else you just uh, attend my class i will cover maximum uh, problems and that is enough to uh, solve your examination problems clear and come to the uh, ia at the end of the semester i am going to conduct a two ias okay ia1 ia2 with an uh, one or two week gap and by those ias i am going to finalize your internal marks along with you have to write the sketchbook so sketchbook is also having some marks and assignment as well as your ia it will cover nearly 40 marks 40 40 marks clear so next uh, shall we enter into the our subject that is called engineering graphics so first uh, let us have idea about a drawing hello hello yes sir uh sir examination pattern and syllabus artha aita yes sir yes sir yes sir so yes, sir. Syllabus, there are three important modules projection of lines or projection of plane one question and projection of solid is a compulsory question then projection of isometric or else development so adralli again choice irutte okay so total three yes, modules operate modules first module 25 marks second module 45 marks and third module 30 marks total for 100 marks okay. and each module will discuss 50 questions 50 problems only problems okay shall we start yes sir yes sir yes sir yes sir and next ni ven madbeku andre ina okay in a introduction class uh, only theory part is there once i start the actual model uh, projection of lines or projection of planes so you have to bring your drawing sheets or as drawing book pencil scale all the necessary devices nimme drawing madak enen bekalla components devices ella ittondirbeku so nan yen heltinalla adanna you have to draw it in your drawing book okay yes sir yes sir okay come to the drawing uh, so what is meant by simple drawing simple drawing means it is an describing any object or making any picture or providing an information uh, of that object so drawing means a simple representation of any object a simple representation of object is called drawing so in your school and in your college you are drawn so many things you are drawn in your pc uh pu 1 or 2 you drawn a biological drawings a, in the physics you drawn a some drawings okay 
so those drawings are called simple drawings if you draw a nature drawing a uh, one mountain is there one lake is there one tree is there okay on mountain so that uh, picture is called as a simple drawing okay or any plant drawing so this is what the simple drawing simple drawing means it won't have any information it only having the representation it just a proto uh, prototype of that object that is called a simple drawing drawing the simple drawing need a only a, a drawing sheet and a pencil is enough to create a simple drawing but in our engineering graphics it is not a simple drawing or it is not a drawing it is called engineering drawing it is called engineering drawing and the engineering drawing it is also a same a representation of object or making a picture but it is with all necessary information it is with all necessary information then only it is called engineering drawing a graphical means of expression of technical details necessary information means a technical detail is called engineering drawing a one engineering drawing example is your bike take an example of your bike drawing okay if you simply draw a bike it is become a drawing if that bike having information like what is its height what is its dimension what is its width okay how it is look like the shape dimensions and what material it is made by if we have all those information in the drawing then the drawing become a engineering drawing and this engineering drawing is called a language ंग ड्रॉइंग इज ऑलो कॉल्ड एज यूनिवर्सल लैंग्वेज फॉर इंजीनियर this is an one language okay just like your kannada tamil telugu hindi like a, it is also a one language and this language is called as a language for engineers this engineering drawing is called as a universal language for engineers why it is called why it is so <laughs> just a minute okay uh there are some differences between engineering drawing and the simple drawing with along why it is called as a universal language and with some examples i explained and this is what the uh, pictures which have the difference between a simple drawing and the engineering drawing and irrespective of the branches we need all to know this engineering drawing and what are the things in engineering drawing we discussed and from the engineering drawing what you are going to learn this course is also we discussed okay so the next bit of this uh, part is engineering drawing can classify in the two category a first is manual drawing Yeah. So manual drawing means manually you are going to draw the pictures, engineering pictures. And CAD means with the help of software, with the help of software like Solid Edge, Pro E, CAD E, AutoCAD. There are so many softwares. With the help of those uh, softwares, we are representing our object. It is called computer aided drawing. Okay. a computer has a major impact on the methods used to design create technical drawings design and drafting of computers are chief as last time consuming when compared to the manual 
if you want to draw a one drawing manually it may take 2 or 3 hours but in the computer within a 10 or 20 minutes you can easily draw the drawing any complicated drawing can draw with a within a hour if you are a expert you can draw the drawing within a hour with any complications but in manually it may take one day or two day so it is a manually time consuming and also it need a lot of space for the drawing sheets boards and etc but in the computer aided it just need a one computer along with a, a rated software with help of software we can easily draw the drawing so why we go for the manual drawing first thing is why we have to go with the manual drawing that is we have to study a computer cannot replace the drafting board and the equipment as learn learning tools once you have learned the basics mathematics now after the 12th class you are allowed to use the cal calculator and computer correct so just like a calculator and computer okay first you have to know the basics of a uh, drawing a drawing means a basic simple basics if you have the simple basics you can easily use the softwares just like a mathematics without simple addition subtraction you cannot use the calculator if you have the basic simple addition subtraction multiplication then only you can use calculator and once the what the calculator is providing the answer that you can cross verify if you don't know addition subtraction multiplication then you don't know how to use the calculator then calculator is useless same way if you have the some basics drawing knowledge then only you can use the software or cad for the higher purpose the basic fundamentals are clear better use can made of power of softwares and to be expert in the technical drawing this is the first course of engineering a manual drawing is the first step if you want to become an expert you have to go with the step by step the first step is your manual drawing in the examination also first you have to write the manually so manual part having a more marks than the drawing in the software you have the two parts one is in the answer sheet you have to draw the manual you have to draw that will carry the 60 marks and whatever the same thing you have to draw it in the software with the help of computer that covers the 40 marks total 100 marks in the carry the more marks write wrong in the manual then wrong in the software so your marks will zero but manual drawing is more important first the basic step if you have the proper knowledge if you done with exactly correct in the manual drawing then your software drawing is then play work the hall with the card one the okay so it's a required for drawing the items and these are the what the equipments we need to manual drawing not for the cad drawing it need for a manual drawing for a simple drawing you need a one drawing sheet and pencil is enough for a simple drawing but it is not a simple drawing it is an engineering drawing so that for engineering drawing you should need a engineering sheets drawing board drawing sheet mini drafter okay instrument box that is what the compass divider etc and more important scale okay protector transistor drawing pencil eraser drawing clip okay sharpener and duster if it is in the board clear so these are the uh, devices or equipments you should need for a proper engineering manual drawing engineering manual drawing and in this picture which is observed a person drawing a simple uh, engineering drawing with the help of uh, it is a compass a pencil protractor okay t square and a drawing sheet
So in that important thing is a drawing board. Okay, it's a technical drawing board. Uh, here it is just used to support the drawing sheet. So this board, it is an actual board, or a working board. So this drawing board must be placed on the table with a working edge always be at the left side. So this is a working edge. Okay. So nowadays you people are uh, don't have this uh, manual drawing. Only on your uh, drawing book with the help of simple scale protector you are going to draw. But in earlier days we have only a manual drawing. On those days there is no software. There is no CAD. Only concentrating on manual drawing. On those days this is what the a big drawing board. And this drawing board is clamped on the a drawing table. This is what the drawing table on that this drawing board is clamped and this is what the a light which is provided for the proper uh, projection for drawing the uh, engineering drawing and with the scale pencil. So these are all necessary instruments. Okay. In the olden days they are using these kind of arrangements for manual drawing. But nowadays you simply have a one board cardboard on that one sheet and on that you are going to draw. It's a very simple. But in earlier, these things are must and should. With the help of those things, there is a mini drafter, okay, for drawing the angles, all those things they need. And this is a one a board. And after that, you need a one mini drafter. Nowadays, you don't have mini drafter. I think you didn't see this mini drafter. But in earlier, in 90s and in 2000, they are using this mini drafter for their drawing. It is a main tool. Mini drawing, mini drafter is the main tool. It is with a two levers, okay? And this is a straight and horizontal scale. And here, there is a knob. You can rotate for any angle. If you want 10 degree, 20 degree, 30 degree, you can set this. If you set for 30 degree, this horizontal line is set for 30 degree. If you move anywhere, it will show only 30 degree. If you set for 40 degree, it is 40 degree. If it is set for uh, 90 degree, it will 90 degree. Like this, this mini drafter can use. This is what the pivoting. Pivoting means you can move anywhere. And this is a clamp. And this clamp is put it on the drawing board. So one side it is fixed. It's a one important tool. Yes, you can see how it is clamped. And this is what the actual mini drafter with the scale and knob and the pivoting. And here we can move this. Okay, so this is what the actual mini drafter. Uh, see how it is fitted to the drawing board and the drawing sheet. And this can easily freely move on the drawing sheet anywhere. Now it is in the zero degree horizontal. If you want 10 degree, 20 degree, 30 degree, you can uh, set by rotating the knob and it will set the 30 degree. And this entire L shape is set for 30 degree. And if you move anywhere on the sheet, it will 30 degree. Next by unlocking and rotate the knob and you can set for the 90 degree also. So any degree, a required degree, you can set. So this is how the clamping, okay? And this is how we have to draw uh, a line with a horizontal or any degree line. And the next important tool is drawing tool, T square and triangles. So these are the T squares and triangles. These are all also used to draw the lines with a different angles, either with a straight or horizontal or different angle lines. Next drawing tools are called adhesive tape or uh, clips. If clips are available, you can clip with the help of clip, uh, you can uh, fix the drawing sheet onto the drawing table. 
if there is no clips then you can use for the adhesive tapes just for pasting just for proper holding the sheet on the table next these uh, pencils they are pen pencils or normal pencils they are using they are to draw the thick line and thin line these are used to draw a thick line or a thin line so our drawing consists of an a thin line thick line dotted line axis line okay so many lines and for different lines we use a different types of pencils if the line is thick it understood that it is a visible line if it is a thin understood that it is hidden so like different lines to draw we need a different pencils yes next tools are compass and sand paper and sand paper used to sharpen the pencils okay and this compass used to draw the curves if i want to uh, arc or a curve we cannot draw by with the help of scale we have to go with the compass so compass by using this compass we can easily draw the curves circles ellipses etc any curvy shapes can easily drawn with the help of compass divider also using just to know the measure the distance we use divider next important thing is a drawing sheets we all know that there are a uh, five types of drawing sheets generally we are using for creating our drawings and in that uh, they are with the size size different and uh, what we are uh, presently for your a uh, drawing we are using a4 sheet it is a4 sheet it is a smallest size of drawing sheet a4 and a0 is the a uh, largest size of a drawing sheet in between a0 and a4 there are so many size of drawing sheets and those drawing sheets are used to create a drawing as well as take the output that is what with the help of printer we can take the output of the drawings and in our engineering and for our students a maximum size is a4 and we are giving the print out uh, whatever you draw the drawings we are giving a print out in a4 sheet and those drawings you have to submit for the uh, at the end of the semester and it is as a assignment okay and for the assignment we have some marks <coughs> and these are the first a not a not with the highest uh, here you can see the last one is a not exactly half of this a not a1 is there see exactly half and exactly half of the a1 a2 is there exactly half of the a2 a3 is there exactly half of the a3 a4 that is for the smallest size we are using the double of a4 is a3 double of a3 is a2 double of a2 is a1 and double of a1 is a0 like this you can differentiate the sheet and the dimension of a4 is 210 mm into 297 mm if the sheet dimension is 210 into 297 mm it is a4 you can measure your a4 sheet with the help of scale and it shows the dimension 210 into 297 and a3 it is 297 into 420 and a2 420 into 594 a1 594 into 841 and a not 841 into 1189 see step by step it will double the sheet okay in our printer a4 sheet so we are providing only a4 sheet and we are using a4 sheet and also at the examination we are giving only a4 sheet okay, so this is a important we have to have a knowledge on drawing sheets layout of drawing sheets a standard of arrangements okay 
so means uh, drawing sheets it is having again with a, some standard arrangements a standard border and uh, some uh, naming boxes there in that uh, you have to give the drawing name and whatever the uh, important details in that you have to fill that important particulars are included that is what the uh, explanation on the drawing and facilitate to quick reading of important particular uh, quick references are located drawing are prepared at various locations and shared and also there is a grid along the horizontal edges numericals grids along the vertical edges so these are all things you can see in the a standard drawing sheet okay along with the borders left space right space top and bottom space okay here grids are there but don't worry uh, in our lab we are with a free from the grids title box of course this is for a particular drawing and location identification zone drawing title registration number okay all those things you have to name it additional informations also if you want you can technical informations manufacturing methods uh, or anything if you want you can include that yes this is the a sample of drawing sheet it's a one sample of drawing sheet okay by default it is a a2 a2 sheet it is a a2 sheet and here it is a box and this is a what border with a spacing and here a description and how many parts quantity okay Appro approximate the cast everything here uh, in the title box you have to name the title okay date and any explanations company name and this is what one a symbol which represents the drawing is in first quadrant or in the third quadrant that i will explain in the next class what is meant by quadrant what is meant by first and second quadrant and third quadrant that i will explain okay so this is what the detailed description of that part and the layout of the box and this is what the layout of the box uh indian institute of technical uh karakpur this is what one example title scale name evaluated by roll number plate number that you have to mention it's a one set of standard uh this is another set of standard okay that you have to uh, just example okay a name john smith a wheel bearing the title of that uh, part is wheel bearing Okay, it is did by John Smith and the version 1.1. Like some example, IIT Engineering. Okay, this is a third or first quadrant, and the scale one is to one means the component diameter and what the actual diameter is same one is to one. If it is different, it is one is to point one, point two like this or two, three, four like this, and it is a date and checked or inspected by some person. It is a one simple example of drawing layout. it's a simple engineering drawing okay one simple engineering drawing we did the one simple engineering drawing top view and side view and they explained here how to fill this box okay they given just a simple example so in your examination you have to just write your university seat number and the name okay so here this uh, box whatever the detail box it is not there because we are set for a4 sheet and we unclick that detail whatever the background okay so there is no box it is only for the uh, a technical industrial drawing purpose the basic information include uh, pro projected views that box include projected views cross section table dimensions etc dimension means the length breadth width table means oh, the table may be with a part name with a designer etc cross section means it is a views different views a top view front view side view cut section 
etc it includes ango e adu nin laptop al cad in the program ittala na ha cad cad first year in the mr bharat idiyala delete madillala mr bharat ellide okay drawing pencils okay these are the different the pencils we are using these are the wooden pencils with a different uh, specifications for different thickness you just observe it's a thin and is a thick like this thin and thick pencils need to represent the different lines as these are the different lead with a different thickness provide the different thickness for our line and here if it is 0.2 mm a medium and 0.1 mm pencil it is a thin okay and this medium and thin pencils just a minute as this medium thickness is for outlines dotted lines cut planes and thin used for center line section line dimension line extension line construction line leaders short breaks long breaks etc as these are the uh, different lines what we are using in our engineering drawing okay a thick line means it should be like this it is a thick and the application of this line is outline visible line visible edges surface boundary of object margin scale etc and this can done by with the help of h if the pencil is h it is provided a thick continuous thin means see the difference it's a thick and it is a thin and it is used for dimension line extension line section line leader pointer lines construction lines border line etc and it is with the help of 2h if the pencil name is 2h then it is a thin or you can use the pen pencil also in the different types of leads thick thin lead and it is a continuous thin it's a wavy line curve line okay it is also with the help of 2h it's a short break line irregular boundaries next is continuous thick with zigzag it's a zigzag line okay it's a thin a long break line it is also with a 2h short edge dash line grip one length uh, it's a invisible or interior surface it is with a h pencil it is thick with dash line so like this uh, there are uh, applications of lines okay next short dash line long chain continuous thick border okay so these are all a uh, different types it is a cutting plane it is of h or 2h either you can use h or 2h for thin and continuous applications of lines see where we are using these are the applications the parts engineering drawing okay these are the different lines and these are the different types of lines visible line hidden line section line center line axis dimension line cutting plane weaving plane etc this is what the thick continuous line and hidden line it's a thin with a dash section line thin with a continuous axis okay 
are dimensioning. So here we are using these lines. This is the one engineering part. Okay, it may be a top view or front view, and in those we are using. It's a etching. Yes, these are the another types of lines with their characteristics and with their applications. It's a chain line, switching line. Okay, short break line, long break line, bottom line. And this is one engineering drawing. And in this engineering drawing, we can see all type of lines: a thick line, dash line, a thin line, dimension line, okay, axis line, chain. All the lines you can see in the one drawing. And these drawings have in different applications, okay? And they are used to uh, represent engineering drawing. And this is one another example. So that you should have a proper idea on the lines. If it is a thick, if it is a thin, if it is a continuous, if it is a dotted, if it is an axis, they have particular applications. And this is another example. Where you can have the applications of different lines. And next is lettering. So writing the title, subtitles, dimensions, scales, and other details are done with the lettering. So in your syllabus, of course, you don't have any lettering, okay? But you just you you want to write your title and name in the drawing sheet. That is with the help of this lettering. A different uh, letterings, different dimension letterings we are using to represent the titles, subtitles, and all. So these letterings are BSI nine six zero nine. It's the one standard. Through the standard of writing a letter, we are going to draw it. Yes, this is a one example lettering type. Lettering type. There are two uh, different types of sentence. With a two different types of a font and two different of lettering style. It's a lettering A and lettering B. So lettering A is a capital letter divided into fourteen equal parts, and lettering B it's a height of capital letter is divided into ten equal parts. So these are the two different types of lettering. With these lettering style. we are going to represent our title subtitle name and everything of the engineering drawing and the next important thing is a drawing scale so drawing scale means if the component is very small then you have to enlarge that component and you have to draw it in the drawing sheet if the component is too big like i take an example of your uh, aircraft aircraft is a too big we cannot a represent aircraft in one is to one scale means we don't have that uh, that much of drawing sheets to represent a same dimension of the aircraft so what we are doing is we are scaling down our drawing means aircraft is 100 mm we are scaling down to 10 mm means we are reducing it is called reducing scale if the component is too small like an micro uh, uh, it's just like a nano or micro micro component nano component if the component are we cannot see by our naked eye then how we can uh, represent in the drawing sheet so in case we are enlarging our drawings that is called enlarging and if the component just take an example of your mobile mobile it's having a normal dimensions so that we can easily as it is one is to one we can draw it in the drawing sheet then it is a normal scale normal scale okay enlarging scale and reducing scale so a scale is a ratio of linear dimension of the element of an object shown in the drawing to real linear dimension of the same element of the object it's a, a real element and the element in the drawing sheet okay so the ratio is called as scale 
a length and size see so the size in the drawing the actual size is very big okay but in the drawing i am going to write in the small size this is means i am going to scale down means reducing reducing the drawing see here it is a 1 and it is a 0.5 like this 1 is to 0.5 that is the scaling dimension the big component reduced to small drawing a small component increased to big drawing 1 is to 1 it's a full scale as it is mobile i told example of mobile so if the mobile it's a normal size so i can easily draw the same size in the drawing sheet it's a 1 is to full scale yes enlarging means i am going to increase the drawing reduction means i am going to decrease the drawing if the same mobile if i draw it in the very small size it is called reduction if the same mobile if i draw, draw it in the big size it is enlarging scale 